but pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Three to two to finish in tonight's game. The San Diego Padres used a three-run seven to help propel them to the win. For the victorious San Diego. From the home of the Padres since 2004, we're live at Petco Park in what? Digging in now, Dirk Eichen, as he'll get his first, first opportunity in this one. Dirk Eichen. Now here's the pitch. Oh, this ball is hammered out to deep center field. Out of here, into the visitors' bullpen. So it's a solo shot to dead center. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything. He can extend his... Stepping up now, Dirk Eichen. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. And that's been the entire offense so far in this one. They've been shut down other than that. Now here it comes. Line drive to left. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. So a good job there as he opens up the third inning with the two base hit. And as you can see right there, he's up to 45 now on the year. And next will be the Mets cleanup hitter, Kyle Schwarber. He scored after reaching on a walk in his first at bat. The 0-1 pitch. And this is popped up near second base. Diaz is under it as he puts it away for round number one. Throw back to second, and that's it. Digging in now for San Diego. Hunter Renfro as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Hit back up the middle. Adamas picks it up to second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. But boy, was he ever upended at second base. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. Digging in and looking for more. Dirk Eichen already a home run and a double Dirk. for him in this one. Eichen. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Line drive. Base hit down the line. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Yeah, I think he was sitting on the fastball, so he got the changeup. He was way out in front of it, but he kept his hands back long enough to keep it fair down the line. That's not always easy to do. Two men on, two out, and next it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. Schwarber. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Reyes facing back. He's got it, and they get out of the jam unscathed. Stepping in, Dirk Eichen. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to AB. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Renfro ranging back, and goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game, and the Mets draw closer here. It's now a 4-2 ball game.
I know he's a confident pitcher, but there's a difference between being confident and downright foolish. He just offered one of the most dangerous hitters in the lineup a straight heater, and it cost him big time. Success is never guaranteed in this game, so you have to appreciate it when it comes. A one run finish, four to three, the final tally today. The Friars used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Lewis Driver earns his eighth victory of the season. Keone Kella records the save, his 39th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Green layer appears it won't be going away anytime soon, but nevertheless, we've got baseball from Petco Park. Today, the finale of this three game weekend series. Now at the plate, Dirk Eichen. Watch is fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories. Winning the triple crown is really magical. Think about it. How many guys can hit for power, hit for average? and drive in runs this guy's had a phenomenal season and we're keeping our fingers crossed that he can win it here's the first pitch to him just able to get a piece of that for strike one guys these Padres as they take the field this afternoon they've been hot of late winners in four straight yeah man nothing they'd like to do more than to salvage this one D roll after this one they go on the road for a seven game road trip so big to get this win here today yeah last game in front of the home folks before you go out for a week this is a big one they're going to get it done hey boys you talk about getting your a swing off that's what it looks like right there. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And now it'll right, roll up on, against right the here. wall. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kyle Schwarber. That he enters cool. play with 14 home leader. runs to his Kyle credit this year. Schwarber. 0 oh 1, here it comes. He'll try to punt his it. way out as it, he gets right this here. one down. And there are two away now. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end. Set to get his day started, Arthur Knotts. And it's been a real the struggle for him with the bat Arthur. so far this year. Get things turned around in a hurry. Eichen takes it in. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. Now in the box, Orlando Arnaz. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ground down the first baseline. Eichen has it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Padres down in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. At the plate, Dirk Eichen. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one, his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. The wind up and the 0 1. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. The left fielder, number four, Will Meyer. Hard on the ground to the right. He's got it. And this will wind up working as a sacrifice as he steps on first, allowing the runner to move into second.
Ready once again, Dirk Eichen. He'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. First pitch on its way. Skied down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. All right, that's when you got to tell yourself to slow down a little bit right there. Out in front on a fastball, hit it hard, but pulled it foul. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But it bends just foul into the second deck. Hot shot down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. So he continues to hit the ball well, his second hit of the ball game, and he's aboard on the leadoff single as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Kyle Schwarber. He's batting cleanup in this yeah, one, right. but we'll get us started here in the inning Kyle as they look to wake Schwarber. up the bats. Yeah, not much to get excited about with just the single notch on the scoreboard, but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitching on the other side has been really impressive. The batter, number two. Now to the plate, Willie Adamas. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. And there's one away. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Now batting, Dirk Eichen. He singled his last time up. Dirk. I get. First pitch coming. Here it is. No balls and a strike to count. Comes set with the 0 and 1. This is skied into short left center. Myers is under it. Makes the play one away. Riding into the box, Dirk Eichen. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. First offering on its way. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. Well, he had big aspirations behind that swing. Pretty obvious he was trying to put four runs on the board in a hurry. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. A pause and the 0 2. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Gone! It's a grand slam. So he will touch them all on the grand slam. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as they pile on. It's now six to nothing. They were so close to getting out of this mess. Two outs, two strikes, but then the grand slam gave him something could handle any pace for it dearly. Here's Manny Machado now. Lifetime matchup numbers with Gesellman. He's a 417 hitter. Manny. Ball hit hard toward first. And that's by him down the line in right field toward the corner. Throw into second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Well, there's no doubt they've looked pre inept the last five games. But they got the monkey off their back here with the win and are hoping to build on that now. Six to one, the final tally today. The New York Mets pick up win number 70 to top the division. Kevin Gossman earns win number seven on the season, allowing only a pair of hits in eight full innings pitched. Denelson Lamette is settled with a loss after giving up only one earned. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB the show for more make your way over to the shownation.com the final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets six runs eight